Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to uh, Dropped and Hopped. I just want to kind of uh, talk you about uh, what I've been doing and what's going to happen for the new year, 2019. I haven't uploaded anything uh, or too much content here lately. And it's not that I haven't been doing anything. I actually recorded a couple things around Christmas time, and I just didn't like the way it, it came out. I don't know. I, it, I did one where I was just kind of like doing a Christmas wrap up type thing where, you know, like I've, I've done in one of the other videos, just kind of, you know, after all the rush and it's almost Christmas time, you got everything done. And, you know, for me, work was, you know, we had just a ton of work. I was working a lot of hours. I was exhausted and still trying to keep up with the channel. And, and so that was really rough for me that time. But I just, it didn't seem very interesting. And I, maybe some people might not think that uh, a lot of the stuff I do is not very interesting, but I just, it didn't seem like something worth putting out. I just don't want to put anything uh, on just to get something on the a channel. So I just kind of scrapped it. And I actually brewed a Christmas holiday-ish type beer um it was a uh, mexican milk chocolate stout and it just didn't come out right i, I brewed a one gallon batch a long time ago when it came out phenomenal it was great and i tried to i tried to upscale to a five gallon batch and i i already had problems anyway because like i said i was exhausted when I ordered the, uh, the all the grain, uh, I ordered offline from my uh, local brew shop. They had like one dollar shipping, and I don't live around the corner from the brew shop, so I was like, it's just that much easier just for a dollar to have them uh, deliver it to me. And I messed up some of the uh, portions, and then I had to try to compensate for other parts and so all around it didn't come out right and I the I used like a chocolate powder um, there's a Mexican uh, chocolate powder and it I just used way too much and not on top you know not only that I rushed the beer because um, I you know left it in the uh, only left it in the fermenter for like a week and I usually I'll, you know uh, take off the collection ball, dump out the yeast, sanitize it, uh, put it back on, let more yeast kind of drop out of it. And I didn't, and I think there was a lot of yeast in there also. And it was just, it came out so thick, it was like syrup. And uh, it was it was really rough at the beginning. Then it mellowed out and it was cool, thinned out. I was like, well, maybe I got to a point where you know, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be more drinkable. And it was more drinkable. I, I was still, I was kind of mixing it with some lighter lagers, kind of doing like a black and tan type of thing. And it made it drinkable. I didn't want to just dump it out. And then it got to another point where it got real thick again. And I was like, man, I just can't do this anymore. It's just too rough. But I'm, it's all a learning, all of it's a learning process. Um, so I'm gonna make it again next year. Get try to dial everything in like all like you know all home brewers do. And uh, so it wasn't a total uh, failure, but I wouldn't call it a success either. Still got some beers out of it, quite a few. But I brewed that, and uh, I was gonna put it. You know on the channel on uh best brew ever my brewing series um had some content but i was just exhausted i recorded maybe half of it people came over my kids were running around uh, i just i just could that like i couldn't really focus and, and shoot the content like I normally do so I was kind of 
brewing and talking and hanging out and um, so that I just said you know I, I, halfway into it I just said I'm it's, it's over I'm not going to uh, record the rest of this so that didn't get put on so I, I've been ha doing some stuff recording things I just haven't it didn't work out to get put on the uh, the channel um, but for uh, the new year I'm expanding um, the channel and more series um, I know some of the other series have kind of dropped off but it's just because they were with my daughter and she's just really not into it so uh, I might kind of revive some of the uh, you know, maybe the cooking uh, I might just do it on my own I might do a couple recipes in there I don't know the other uh, series that I'm going to be putting on here one uh, that I just kind of um, the last video I did was kind of like the intro to that it was uh, this is how I did it um, and it's just going to be basically uh, like little builds or little um, ways that I found to fix something or uh, so it's gonna be a kind of a variety in itself just the fact that uh, it's not all just like woodworking or you know just one thing I might um, build like maybe a, a prop something or um, and, you know just maybe work on the car and get like a little trick that I seen somehow or figured out so it's just gonna be a bunch of different things but more of uh, kind of like making things um, in that kind of manner um, it's just another level uh, of creativity that I I'm into you know I like to you know create the beers from scratch and then of course you get to drink them which is awesome and same thing with cooking you know you make it from scratch and you get to eat it it's awesome um, and I like to make things and then sit back and look and see, you know, maybe you take something that was rusted and, and broken and you fix it and make it look new and it's nice to look at it or use it. It's just a bunch of different things I might do on there. Um, so that's one series that's already kind of been created. Um, another one is uh, kind of a collecting for a long time now. I mean, I've been kind of half way collect collecting uh, kind of retro uh, games um, and when I say halfway I mean almost non-existent I mean I have um, an original NES and a handful of uh, um, games and uh, you know so I might uh, I'm, I think I'm gonna try to expand that you know, just because I wanted to anyway and um, and it's something you know to feature on the show um, also there's a lot of things that I collect I mean I do have I've been collecting records um, on and off since I was a teenager and uh, so um, yeah, when I get some more money, maybe I'll go around some yard sales and uh, uh, flea markets and things like that, and just see what I can find. Not just the, you know the retro games, but just anything. I, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I I think's cool and I would like to have. Um, so just little uh, yard sale, thrift shop, flea market type things uh, we'll be checking out. Uh, but I do want to expand my um, my uh, gaming uh, gets more gaming consoles uh, I'm really looking at uh, Dreamcast I want to like to do start collecting Dreamcast and get some more uh, original Nintendo uh, games and maybe just collect start collecting for um, the consoles I already have um, and uh, possibly if I can find a deal maybe I'll get me a, a, a arcade cabinet which I wanted since I was since I was a kid I seen silver spoons and Ricky Schroeder had a freaking arcade in his house but you know back then that was always for rich people and now it's you know if you can if I could find a decent deal I'll, I'll, 
or make it a reality for myself or for my family. Um, but just those kind of things, you know, I'm interested in, I'm interested maybe, you know, um, my brewing setup, I think is pretty much um, as good as I'm gonna get it for now. You know, there's, you know, all these systems that you can get, but I just don't have any room here. So for my location and, and my situation, I rent this house, so I can't really modify anything or, or change or build on or do anything. Um, so, uh, but you know, if later I get a house, I could expand my brewing setup. But for now, my uh, mash and boil and uh, uh, my old school, uh, just my banjo burner and my uh, kegel and all that, I can, I think I can survive with that kind of setup for now. So, brewing equipment wise, I don't really see about spending a whole lot of money that way. So, you know, um, maybe I can uh, bring up my gaming room uh, a little bit more. So that's really what I have going on for there. Like I said, I'm not going to stop brewing, um, but like, you know, I spread myself thin, which is maybe not great for the channel, but it's stuff that I want to do anyway, and I'm going to do anyway, and I, I get bored just doing one thing, um, you know, and it, I guess that's what makes other channels more popular because they're hardcore either just gaming or hardcore brewing or hardcore you know whatever and um but that's just that's just not me i can't i don't want to do one thing all the time you know so um like i said if i think something's interesting and i'm gonna build it or make it or whatever or i collected it i want to you know kind of feature it on uh my channel it's uh you know, the channel started out as me thinking it was just going to be a low riding, um, uh, home brewing channel. And we've hardly got it. Well, I think there's one low rider video, one low riding video on here. Um, hopefully I can get some more low riding videos going. If I get more money, I actually have a 63 Impala, um, that I been neglecting. I haven't been working on. I would like to start working on that and get that rolling, get that back on the road. Um, but that and so I mean, all my hobbies are just too expensive, you know. Um, home brewing, the now you know, games are starting to go through the roof. Um, restoring, a, you know, not, not even restoring the, the car, just getting it how I want it, you know, is expensive. Um, I'd like to get me, you know, some uh, decent guitars, you know, I've been playing guitar on and off since I was about nine. Um, that's kind of how I do everything. I start something, stop for a little bit, go get on this, jump over here. That's just, I'm all over the place. But that's just me. Um, I just like to thank everybody for continuing to watch my videos. Obviously some videos are way more popular than others. Um, I don't have a huge uh, uh, su subscriber um, base here, but I do want to thank the people who have subscribed, who watch the channel and like what they've seen enough to say, yeah, I'm gonna click that button. So, uh, you know, if you have watched my other videos and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, you know, click the notifications because you never know, you know, I don't have a, a, a weekly routine or if I, you know, I don't, I would like to upload every Friday but uh, it's just not you know I don't I still work a full-time job I don't have a staff it's just me um, but uh, you know like I said uh, thanks to everybody who has subscribed here lately and uh, I think that's about it that's 2019 oh, hopefully it's gonna be a better year than the last so thanks to everybody for watching and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.